Gamers, welcome back. I'm Robo, a Grandmaster ranked player at the game of Risk Global Domination, and today we are Paul the Pocket Pursuer, and we are back on some Trigon's Labyrinth as we continue to take on the Trigon's challenges to become the Trigon's champion. Now, previously on Trigon's Labyrinth, on the channel, we have conquered multiple different challenges, and let's go over them very quickly. We're in the second position. We have conquered the left side of the board. We have conquered the whole right side of the board. We recently conquered the Robo Diamond in the middle, and we also most recently conquered the Giga Chad Triangle Challenge. What is left now is the Power Pocket Challenge, and that is the Crystal Garden and the Ghostly Plateau. Now, this challenge has now become my most failed attempted challenge. It is way harder than you would think. And the reason for that is the way that Trigon's Labyrinth always plays is somebody goes for either the left or the right side of the board, they snowball, then they push through the middle. Now, when we were going for the Robo Diamond, for example, we were worried about the middle. And so these players that were trying to snowball over here, we were kind of leaving them alone. Now, these players that are trying to snowball, which is how the vast majority of Trigon's players play, we are in their way going for the pocket. What this means is that you are at a war very early on in the game with a minimum of two players on the left and the right side of the board, and this war happens before you have managed to grab a bonus. This war has happened before the sets are juicy enough to be able to have a large defensive hold or to be able to push people out of the game effectively. It is extremely difficult. Now, you may see a god cap on the map, and I'm going to actually completely disregard it. And that is because with these challenges, you need to be able to plug the holes on the map. Um, automatically, I can tell that Ghostly Plateau is going to be a huge pain in the ass. Green is the only one that can roll us. I'm going to cap right here every single day of the week. Ooh, you know what? Alternatively, I probably could have capped right here in Void Altar just to guarantee myself a little bonus to help me push through and work with all of that. Alternatively, that might have been a better play. That'll be my turn one strat. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, that would have been a better strat, I think. Just to guarantee that I have a bonus to push through and cause problems for other people. Now, these are the rules and the players, folks. So yes, it is the risk meta settings, but essentially on Trigon's Labyrinth with neutral AI, progressive cards, balance blitz dice, anybody can play in this ranked game. Alliances are off, fog of war on, blizzards are on, and portals are off. If this is your first time watching me, uh, hello there, I am Robo. I am a Capital Conquest progressive specialist, and I have absolutely loved Trigon's Labyrinth lately. If you haven't checked out the previous videos on Trigon's Labyrinth, I highly recommend them. Um, you guys have absolutely loved them as well, and you guys have been so vocal in the comments about your love for Trigon's Labyrinth, so I have got to deliver and give you guys these challenges. I am, uh, I'm on the edge of my seat for these challenges. I've been having so much fun. We are coming off of a heartbreaking defeat, though, to be totally honest with you guys. Um, we managed to accomplish the challenge on our most recent game. We grabbed the Crystal Garden, the Ghostly Plateau, we held it for a turn, and the last two players that were available ended up being cheaters. Yeah, they were cheaters. Uh, I very rarely come across cheaters where somebody's playing on the same account, uh, but it was undeniable evidence. And uh, I have the recording and everything. It's pretty funny, but uh, I can't, you know, if the video is not a banger, I'm not going to post it. So, and then also I've been dealing with some snipers too. That's been really funny. I'm going to have to uh, adjust my names that I go with uh, because you guys have picked up on that. And uh, the sniping situation has been funny as well. Um, I've had... I, I would say that the oh and purple does get the god cap by the way that is very very interesting yeah purple has a god cap so predicting purple to snowball if we could push purple out of the game that would be fantastic but yeah you know the snipers just want to cause chaos is very funny to me um i don't know i don't know if they're hoping that they'll end up in a video but you know obviously if i get destroyed it's not going to make it on youtube the logic doesn't work there like um, the, uh, the streamer or the content creator winning is how the video ends up on YouTube. So, but, uh, but anyways, and also if you're seeing this video on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen, it might be legendary. So hopefully we can make it happen today. Um, I'm going to chance that pink does not roll that. And I'm actually going to begin working on this section right here. Let's remove green's hopes and dreams of having it. And then we will have it on the next turn. So yes, I do not have enough material there to do anything. I'm, I'm actually going to try to be friendly with Pink. Eventually that war is inevitable, but me and Pink being friendly for now is how we make this happen as I try to collect an another bonus here. So right off the bat, you guys, it is not looking extremely... It's not looking like a good start at all, actually. But it is okay. Um, we can try to make it happen. I'm also watching the board very closely for that neutral AI. You know, when things don't go, don't go people's way early on, it, uh, 
can end up resulting in them flagging. And with that neutral AI, it is a very good indicator of what to do next. I've been loving the neutral AI, by the way. It has been so, so much fun. Interesting strat for Blue to put that in that pocket down there. I don't really see how that benefits them, but it does tell me that they are likely on the right side of the board. Do we see one more attack there? Yes, we do. So this is Blue coming into the Soul Stone section. So I'm just going to say, let's begin writing down what we can infer on the board. So green is a question mark. We have, let's see, pink is our neighbor. What is the name of that territory, by the way? It is dark flower. That's right. So we have pink and dark flower. We have blue as a question mark. We have yellow as a question mark. I hope everyone's doing well today, by the way. And then purple has revealed themselves to be going for the bonus up there. And they will get it up in portal. Okay, so purple will get that on the next turn. And that's a, that's a plus seven, so that's very nice for purple. And then purple has a lot of material on the left side of the board that I'm sure they want to make use of, which kind of sucks. So this means I have to grab this bonus on the next turn, minimum. Or purple begins causing problems for me once they have that plus seven. So that becomes a huge issue for me. I'm going to go one more turn with this being a seven cap, and I'm just going to put everything down here to make sure that I can hold that. Actually, I'm going to make it an eight. Now, you actually don't have to leave a, uh, you do not have to leave a three in these pockets. I need good dice. That's not a good start. This is still profitable. Nice. So that is still profitable. So now what happens is I leave one troop there. You do not have to leave threes in those pockets. Let's see if we can make this one. And we are profitable. Okay, nice. So that is the best way to ensure that you can take those while having the most amount of troops right there. So that was actually a very good turn for us. And then I am going to, hmm, I think I want to begin working on Shadow Maze here pretty soon. So let's bring this out over here. I don't want purple to go looking very far once they have that bonus. And what is pink doing? Because they're not really putting a whole lot on their cap just like me. Now this is good though, this is good. We have guaranteed ourselves a plus three in Void Stone. Which means that we can roll pink very soon. Okay, you bring the five out. So pink is eyeballing rolling me shortly. I have a free card right here on this one. Purple, after the following turn, they may roll me right here. It might actually be in my best interest to remove purple. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to strengthen my cap a little bit. And then I'm actually going to try to remove purple from here to take my card. That way, because I, I would say purple has the highest percent chance of wanting to roll me now that they'll have a plus seven. They're going to have the plus seven right here. They're going to have to go through three troops, or four troops, rather, but uh, they do it. Let's watch how much they could put back onto their cap, though, because... Ah, uh, see, but I'm still... I'm too worried about pink, so... I can't really make an effective attack onto purple right now. So let's just chill. Yep, purple, we're assuming, takes it right here. Um, worst case scenario, they could even end up with like a, oh, nope, they get great dice. Never mind. Yeah, okay. Purple with a strong cap and a plus seven, that's, that spells trouble for whoever's on the right side of the board. This will be very, very bad. Um, but I think it was purple that was initially also going for, no. Who was it that we were saying was going for the right side down here? I forget. Sometimes I get to talk into the camera and I can... Forget things, or if I don't write things down, it can be very bad for me, so. So we have the purple player snowballing now. Very interesting. Very interesting. I would say another difficult part of this challenge is people tend to like to cap in Crystal Garden and Ghostly Plateau. It's been an issue that I've run into very frequently going for this challenge. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see how long people can continue to leave me alone. Put twos there to deter people from wanting to take cards right there. Pink still does not have enough to roll me effectively. 
Pink is Pink is thinking very carefully about how to deal with me. I would love for Pink to roll me right now and fail that. Oh, I would love that. I also need to make sure that I fist bump when we get to Purple's turn. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Pink is getting very, very strong. I need Purple to leave my bonus alone, that way I can continue beefing up my cap. But if I could sneakily take the Shadow Maze, that would be great. And I might be able to. Okay, so blue, we're just going to say right side of the board, question mark. Right side, question mark. Medium to high confidence on that. I think it actually was blue that we were seeing working their way over here. Yeah, because blue left the six over here. So blue, blue's on the right side for sure. I just forgot to update my notes. Um, okay, and by the way, we got into the rules. Let's get into the players, ladies and gentlemen. In the first position from Antarctica, we have the green player, Jay His 23 In the second position, we have your boy, Paul the Pocket Pursuer, a.k.a. Robo Grandmaster from the United States. In the third position, from Sweden, we have Infamous Millionaire, the pink player. In the fourth position, we have the blue player, and they are from Panama, General Bala. In the fifth position, we have the uh, yellow player, and the yellow player is from Serbia. Jeez, we are like super global. Um, yellow player is Edgar Tripathi. And in the final position, we have the purple player from the Netherlands, General Schlott. We are ultra mega global, and purple and uh, blue are at war on the right side. Okay, nice. That is huge. We need these wars to happen for this. Yep, okay, and then pink. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Now what does green do? Green is still a question mark. Yellow is still a question mark. What do we do? What do we do? Okay, green takes the baby set. Wow. Oh my gosh. Green takes the baby set. I mean, in a worst case scenario, green gets the baby set anyway. But, I mean, we're, we, you have to think, green is making a play right now. Green is making a play right now. I, f I have so much visibility on the board, it's hard to imagine a play green could be making right now that makes taking the baby set worth it. Maybe they're all over here, and they're just getting the ghostly plateau and getting a firm hold. They're like, have this weird split position that means they need the extra troops. Um, now, pink can roll me very soon. Which means that, how much do I have? I have 9. 15 is good enough for now. I have 4 troops. Nice. Let's see if Pink can leave me alone. Can't roll my cap. I wish you would. I wish you would try. Give it a try, and then I just take your cap back. When does pink try to break me? Right now, I think. Yeah, you can't let me have that. We, me and pink are in like this weird cold war that has just broken, where pink says I, they can't allow me to have that. Um, sets are going to be coming pretty soon. Sets are going to be coming very, very soon here. Oh, goodness gracious. Two people taking the set almost makes that, taking the baby sets, almost makes that worth it. But pink always gets a better set than me. Mm. If I, if pink allowed me to hold this, I would have taken the baby set and rolled their cap, I think, and tried to push them out of the game. These wars happening on the other side of the board is everything. It is so unbelievably important for this to be happening right now. This is very important stuff here. And I don't predict us to see a big stack from the yellow player to poke out anywhere. I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, and purple. Purple has held their bonus. At what point does purple cause problems for me? When does that happen? Um, I don't think we're going to see it anytime soon. I think that I definitely, definitely am just going to push back on the pink player here. And see if pink can allow me to hold that. And I want pink to take a card down here and just leave me alone. Now if pink, pink is still starting with 5, correct? Yeah, they're still starting with 5. Pink sets, they'd get 13 and they'd have enough to roll my cap. So I do need to take a turn to also make sure that I keep my cap strong. I gotta do both. 
And then I'll fortify my two over somewhere to guard one of these positions a little bit better. Um, so I need to fist bump at purple here. So I'm going to do it like this. I'm not going to set because I don't need to just yet. I'm still good. But five troops, I think, need to go on my cap. If pink sets, so that's five. It's still not enough to roll my cap. See if pink can leave me alone. Five. 70 to an 80% chance pink has a set on four. Do they take it? Pink is in a very difficult spot here. Okay, pink chooses not to do it. They're going to put it on their cap, and then what? No, you're going to try to break me over there. That's a, that could be a failed roll. Maybe I should have put one more troop over there to deter pink. Pink really thinking about this. A really tough spot for the pink player. Oh, yes! And then you find where, I, where my bonus is at. Yep. Okay, so pink understands. And then you go on cap. That is very bad for you. I think I roll your cap now. There's a chance that uh, there's a chance that yellow and purple set, which would be huge. Really wishing I had a three here on pit. Really wishing I had a three here. Because holding this bonus is a plus six. Holding that is everything. What is blue starting with also? Because they're gonna be they're starting with eleven. That's actually a really big loose end for me. I need to remove blue's blue's view on my cap, because then it then nobody can see what I fortify back after I swing pink. I really, really, really need purple to leave me alone. Let's get the let's get this ready for purple. Yep, I'm being I'm letting you have that. You let me hold this. If you are a high skilled player, you understand what I'm saying. And it looks like purple's gonna let us hold. Um, I really would have loved to see purple set there. That would have helped me tremendously. So I have a plus three. I have a plus th six. That's plus nine. I'm going to get five from holding my territories and my cap. So, or wait, I have 12 territories, so that's actually six. So nine plus six is 15, plus three is 18, and then I get eight. Okay, so that's 26. 26 on my 18 is enough to roll pink and maybe push them out of the game. But blue... Blue is a huge problem right now. Blue is a huge problem. So I'm going to have to work to remove blue out of that pocket, and I have to hope for good dice. I'm going to swing pink right here. I'm going to swing pink right here. Yes, I have enough to do it. It's not a perfect roll, but it's a very good roll. Not a perfect roll, but it's a very, very good roll. Uh, Bloodstone, where does that... I need to actually put... Wait, 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 what is Bloodstone? Bloodstone's down here? No, it doesn't help me too much. Um, it's more, it's more, it's better to get these back and get the dudes back into the deck to increase my chances of getting a back-to-back -back set here. Okay. 40. What is that? 83? I lose 28. Okay. I need to see the pink player flag right here. I need to see pink flag. Okay, pink's nowhere near me now. And then I actually, who am I more worried about? I'm more worried about blue. Oh, I did, oh, those hitboxes over there are trash. They are so trash. I swear I clicked on the right, ah, oh, dude, I just messed up, I guess. But dude, these hitboxes over here are so bad. I will click in the dead center and it won't register. Pink's coming looking. I'm take a gander. Nice, you're going up the wrong way. You're going to run into my eight. Let's get the laps ready. Okay, nice. Now pink flags, I think. Now that I laughed in their face. Or we've made an enemy for life. I think everything is going to get fucked up here. Blue's going to swing that. I'm going to lose everything. This is going to get broken. Yeah, this was a horrible, horrible misplay to misclick that. That's really bad. Yellow can see that. Pink didn't do pink didn't clear that out. I was hoping pink might have, but I'm gonna lose all my shit here. 
Uh, yellow probably breaks that bonus now that I vacated uh, green. Do I have a set on three? No set on three is horrible. I would take the set on three to stabilize every single day of the week. Yellow probably tries to take that now. that they, Yellow's got nothing going on anyway. They're not doing anything. Yeah, fuck. Horrible. This is really bad. Wow. That misclick is the difference in me now. I, I am now worried about yellow and blue. Yellow and blue cause problems for me now because of that misclick, whereas before it would have only been yellow. Yeah. Yeah. Really bad. Really bad. Wow, one of my worst plays. One of my worst plays. Um, it's not over till it's over. If there's one thing we've learned on this channel, it's that it's not over till it's over. How do we figure out this puzzle? How do we figure out this puzzle? Hmm. How do we do it? How do we do it? I need blue to cause problems for, for yellow over there, but blue probably doesn't. Ooh, purple. Wait, can I kill pink? I think I can kill pink. Oh, purple's gonna get it, darn. Purple sees it when I see it as well. That's an oops. You're gonna get it. Oh, that would have been such a good, good play, man. Purple had visibility into the pink player's final position making their way up here. That sucks. That sucks. God. Okay, so this this was just going to implode on the left side of the board anyway, I suppose. Purple wants to take that now. Jeez. Oh my god. Wow. Now I have to push purple out of here and then sit and fist bump purple. But purple has now shown not no interest in pursuing the right side of the board any further, so I taste it no matter what I do here. Maybe I just take that yellow cap right here, this four. Oh, uh, well, with what troops? I, I don't have any troops in a meaningful way to do that, so I can't. So then I have to just try to hold that bonus and then fortify the four up over to be a guard, I suppose. Really, really painfully tragic turn of events right there with how that went with blue or with um uh pink. Yeah, there were better ways I could have gone about doing that too. But pink was shaping up to swing me no matter what. That was that was just a that was gonna implode at any moment on any turn. Had I got better dice there, that goes differently. Uh, had P dude, yeah, all, all the other players kind of did what I didn't want them to do. Green bots. What did green start with? Three, and they're sitting on three cards. I don't think I'm anywhere near them, though. Unless green's down here. Maybe I go hunting for green. Ooh, wait. Green might actually be down here as their final position. No, they're not. Blue's got 24. Swing the yellow cap. Anything's possible, you guys. It's not over till it's over. If you're seeing this video on YouTube, it ends up popping off. Um, I do have a set. Hmm. I do have a set. So if I can just live. I'm, I'm all over the place. Purple is forced to hit me, though. Oh, yeah. So blue had it on the right side of the board anyway. Now blue slams purple. This is how I have a chance to stabilize. This is how I stabilize. Yes. Oh, okay, this is fine, this is fine. Oh, so you have the yellow kill though. That's actually really bad. This is Snowball City for blue. That's yellow's final position probably. Yeah, and you're gonna lock that shit down too. Ooh, you're going to hold on to the yellow kill guard, perhaps. Let's see if yellow takes a card. 
Let's see if yellow takes a card here. Because then I swing that, and I get the yellow kill. I swing that- yeah. Oh, you did take a card. Shit. Well then where the fuck are you? Okay, I probably die. Yeah, I probably die. No, I don't die. That's not enough. Purple's taking a, a turn to be defensive as well right now. How do I come back from this position, guys? I don't know. How do I come back from- oh no, now I die, yeah. Now I die. Not over till it's over. It's not over till it's over. If you know how to read the board, you know I don't have a capto. Lock your big stack. Yes, I live! Now swing blue, one more attack! Swing blue! Ooh! Yes! Wow, what a creative way to almost get my kill and then fail it. Uh, it's actually better for me to go down. Now they can't cause problems for us. Okay. Oh my god. I almost died right there. That was insane. Please leave me alone, purple. Please leave please leave me alone. I'm only taking back taking back what was originally mine. Like, you should not feel any type of way about that. Now I stabilize, you don't have a set, GG. And I'm ahead of you in the turn order with the sets. Unless I don't have a set on four. Okay, so we stabilize and blue has to push through purple now. This is great. This is great. It's not over till it's over. That was an extremely close call. Now you have to go through two caps. Oh, that was such a close call, man. That was such a close call. Now I need to work on taking back the other side of the board. Removing blue and yellow from there. Oh, if it had been if it could have been done earlier, it would have been so much better. And this was great timing though, because now these players are setting. Yeah, now this is just problems for purple, really. Now that they're kind of forced to go to war with each other on the other side of the board. <laughs> this game is shaping up to be such a banger. What is going on in this game, man? This has been so crazy. Also, I'm still just dude, the, this lobby is so global too. Oh, you're going to find it again. Wow. Yep. Swing it again. Oh, really? Oh, and then you fail it. GG. Yeah. Okay. So, did yellow have a cap? Yeah. Yellow's got a cap. So, this is good. This is good. I'm going to see if purple can work with me now. Can you work with me now, purple? Yellow has just done something so much more egregious to you than I did. Now you don't have enough to roll my 3 cap, which is perfect. This allows me to stabilize and is everything. This is everything, man. Wow, stabilization for Robo. Who would have thought? Oh, baby, who would have thought? Oh, man, let's go, dude. Let's go. Oh, my God. And then I fortify that. No, I don't. I just do it like this. Yeah, you've got other problems on your hand, huh, Purple? You sure do. Yeah, you sure do, Purple. You really do. Because now everyone has to push through Purple. We were saying Purple was what, Portal? Purple's fucked. They gotta push through you, dog. You're so screwed. Oh my god, you are unbelievably screwed. I mean, Purple, you are screwed, my friend. You are so screwed, but you guys, look at it. Look at it, we have conquered 50% of it. It's actually more like 30%, because not only do we have to conquer these, we have to hold them. Oh my gosh, what a crazy game. How do we make this happen, guys? How do we do it? I've had so many failed attempts. 
can we get it done here? You know, very few attempts do I actually get to hold one of them. But I feel like these players having to push through each other is everything for me. I'm paying very close attention, by the way, to how much yellow is starting with. Blue starting with 24 is kind of irrelevant, because blue's going to have to expend a lot of troops to push through purple eventually, so blue's snowball is not super impactful. As long as, when blue pushes through, as long as they're not able to get purple while purple's sitting on a lot of cards, I'm okay. Good game, well played, yeah. So, oh wait, leader's now got three out of six. What a turd. Wow, you get good dice too, man. Okay, so I have to remove yellow from the left side now. I have to. Do I have a set on three? Okay, I'm going to take a set on three here and remove yellow. Take a set on three, remove yellow. Yeah, take a set on three, remove yellow. Okay, so this, this is going to be me getting everything over here. Then I need to do a little wrap around. Oh, I lock it. Oh no, dude. Oh no. Oh, very rarely do you see a misplay that bad on the channel. Very rarely. Oh no. Wow. That is quite bad. If yellow has a set on three, that will prove to be a horrible misplay. Oh man, I lock my stack. It's just a misclick. It's just a misclick. It happens. Even Magnus Carlsen, the greatest chess player on the planet, has blunders. Okay. Now I have a 38 stack that is open. Let's see if yellow can leave me alone. If yellow has a set on three, this is very bad. Blue could also be killing purple right now, which would be very bad. A 55 is enough to kill purple. I think maybe you do kill purple right here. Or you go looking and do you find yellow? Uh, blue's gonna make a, a game-winning play here, or this is gonna be very bad. Oh yeah, leader's four out of six, okay. So blue has every other cap on the board, they have pushed through purple. I need to make a kill here. Uh, yellow might see it though, and yellow might find the kill, or purple might find the kill. Let's see it. You're going into purple, and then let's see if purple can get the kill on yellow, and if they don't, then I kill them both, and then I might be able to snowball, and blue will be on one card. Blue's fortified everything onto portal cap, probably. Because blue cleared out all of this, and then they pushed through purple and got that cap. Okay, we have no visibility on the right side of the board to know where those, or to know where those other caps are. We still have a challenge to worry about, though. We have to hold the ghostly plateau. So we still have to worry about that. I don't have a set. Oh my god, I get both of them. I get both kills. This is insane. Um. Yeah, yellow dies first. Okay, now I snowball. Yeah, now I snowball. Okay, now I kill purple. Huge plays, game winning plays out of your boy. Okay, now that is the best way for me to do. Actually, no, it's not. That's the best way to do that. Okay, we have a challenge to worry about here, folks. So let's not get crazy. Okay, Blue, look. This is gonna look really weird to you, but I actually just want the fucking Ghost of Plateau. Uh, oh, look at that, I got a little cap run. Well, guess what, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a flying. Blue, let me hold the ghostly plateau or perish. Let me hold it or perish. 
Do we get it, folks? Do we finally get it after how many failed attempts? Oh, we get it. Look, I'm taking that as a W. I'm taking it as a W. We get it, folks. Oh, my God. We do it. Oh, we do it, ladies and gentlemen. Look, it is a little bit of an, un an unorthodox way to get that challenge done. Let's look at these players. Defeating one novice, two beginners, and two experts. Hey, that's a W. That's a hold. All you have to do is hold and win the game. That is a hold. And actually, if you go back and you look at the math, Blue didn't have a set, and they did not have enough to break through that cap that was, or the, the 20 stack that was guarding the Ghosted Plateau. That challenge is a W. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what challenges you would like to see next. I thought for sure maybe that game might have ended up going poorly. I think at one point we were extremely close to dying to, who was it? Purple, right? Could have had the kill. Oh, these challenges get the blood pressure going, man. Um, I think I do actually have one more challenge that I would like to accomplish on Trigon's Labyrinth. So you guys, if you like what you're seeing, subscribing and liking the video helps the channel out so much. And thank you so much for the growth on the channel. It has been insane. Uh, man, just thank you so much. And I will see you guys on the next one.